headlines. It was here uh, during the official launch of uh, Laila Odinga's AUC chairmanship bid. Yes. And he spoke something there. He said something that I uh, did not actually go well with a number of Kenyans. He actually putting uh, um, the Honorable Babu Wino at the center of this conversation, saying that he needs to be stopped. And that uh, he needs to actually uh, stop meddling in the affairs of our neighboring country, Uganda. Here, this did not actually go well with a number of leaders across the border. And of course, Babo Wino himself uh, uh, proclaimed himself on this. But let us begin from here. Why do you think uh, the Ugandan president would actually make such kind of a statement on a presidential uh, forum like the one that they had yesterday? Well, that's normal. Seven is an old man. He can be allowed to do a few things like those ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he just worried. I mean, why is he concerned about Bobby, Bobby Wine mm. interacting with uh, Babo? You know, that's a small matter. Mm. Yeah. Okay. These are young people, they are finding their space, mm -hmm. uh, both in Kenya and Uganda. Mm. It's, we can't stop young people from finding their space. Mm. Yeah. So, why, why would, do you think he would be so much uh, determined to make sure that he stops them from uh, maybe articulating issues? Because Babo Wino has been at the forefront of uh, uh, talking about issues that are affecting people, especially here in Kenya. And of course, he's also uh, been out there giving his support for those who are fighting for what they call reformation in Uganda. Yeah, you know, you know there was a time Bobby Wine. Mm with his red beret. He was becoming a movement. I don't know what happened. I don't know that he's still <laughs> that forceful. <laughs> so Museveni would be concerned mm -hmm. that uh, if Bobby Wines receives support from Kenya, mm -hmm. I mean, Kenyan uh, leaders like Bobo, you know, mm -hmm. Kenyan people, youth, you know, it, it, he could grow bigger than Museveni would want him to grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but how comes? Because definitely... But uh, remember also, uh -huh. there are countries that have faced insurgency from other countries, mm -hmm. but they are own people. Mm -hmm. Uganda is in that ring of countries, Rwanda, Uganda, DRC, oh, yes, yes. where countries are concerned because some people may go to the neighboring countries and wage a war against their own countries. Okay. That's a problem between Rwanda and DRC. Uganda has experienced a bit of that, mm -hmm. and therefore it's not something you want to take lightly. Uh -huh. Of course, it hasn't reached that dimension, mm -hmm. but anything that is in that direction should be concerning mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you agree that uh, to some extent it was a little bit undiplomatic of him to utter those words on uh, that platform? And the occasion wasn't good. But you see, Museven is a, Museven is a fighter. Museven, Museven is a warrior. Museven is a, is a, is a, is a, is a bush warrior. Mm -hmm. He has no time for these niceties. Mm -hmm. You know, so really, <laughs> this diplomatic <laughs> was uh -huh. diplomatic speak, mm. you what, you, oh, this, mm. you know, demeanor of a president. He <laughs> is a warrior. Uh -huh. He's a bush warrior. Okay. He's fought in the bushes for mm. a long time. Mm. He lived in the trenches. Mm. He doesn't have time for pretense like most of these other leaders. No, mm. that's how you have to understand Museven. Okay. No. Oh, let's have it here, of course. And he's blunt with his language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sometimes he can annoy people. He has annoyed Kenyans when he talks about Jaluo Kungua Rayleigh and things mm -hmm. like those. You know, so mm -hmm. that's Museveni for you. Mm -hmm. Just like Trump in America. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. For a long time, for a long time, it has been rumored that uh, he's not had very good relationship with uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Or, or why do you think this time round he decided to come forward and maybe? You know, this is not a Raila affair. Or no. It's a Kenyan affair. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a ruto in between, there's Kenya, there's Raila, so it's bigger than Raila. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. That aside, so the man being put at the center here is Babu Owino. Of course, he's a member of the Orange Party, that is Raila's own party. Yes. We expected okay. Babu to be at State House during that particular event, but then he decided to skip it and attended another event that was... How do you know he skipped? An, 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 That's he, for invited he, people. He How do you know he was to, invited? Okay. I wasn't invited. I was, <laughs> so you can say I also skipped. Do you, do you, do you think, People are calling me from there and laughing needed, why I was not there. No, do you think that if Atul Babu Owino decided to go, or rather if he wanted to go, then he, he wouldn't have been invited over there? No. I mean, that is for invited so The likes people. of Kalonzo Musyaka, all these uh, those, Azimio Brigade members who are on the other side were not invited. club holder. <laughs> club, uh, club, card holding members of the club. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, Babu Wino is a rank outsider. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
is around outside. So he finds himself in this kind of situation with all this exposure. Now, he was not at that particular event, but on the other end, we saw him at that Azimio presser. In the first place, do you think it was uh, warranted of Azimio, Laumoja, Kenya members, uh, definitely led by Kalonzo Musiaka, to offer that uh, press statement during that particular moment when the other event was also going on at State House? What did they say? I don't even know. They said that uh, right now, now that of course, they gave their support to Raila. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Kalonzo Musioka declared himself the, uh, the, the king. new leader of Azimula Umoja One Kenya Coalition. He declared himself. Yeah. It's good. So, this he said, power you grab. <laughs> power is not given. <laughs> is that the best way of grabbing power? Yeah, power oh. you grab. Let us see how far. How far. But you know, it can also wrestle you to the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these people are moving his way. Um, definitely, Babu Owino has been there with them all along and he's saying here uh, that he's not be he'll not be part of that particular arrangement of uh audience members maybe who are working with the government he's decided to stick to the opposition now do you think that perhaps being seen to be working um against uh, his party leader that's Raila Odinga, would perhaps maybe uh work for or against him it depends on how he oh. plays his card mm -hmm. under normal circumstances anybody who has tried to stand up against Raila has suffered Okay. Until he tells the line. You can go back to to James Orengo, Anyang Nyong, who tried to to be against Raila Odinga. Anyang Nyong came with Charity Ngiru and Social Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. He couldn't even win his city. Chini Kabisa. Akarudi kwa Raila Kazama Mse ni kwapa. Orengo tried to run in two or two. Chini yakangwa kila kitu akaruda kasama mse ni kwapa. And you can go on and on and on. Uh, so that's the normal thing that if you if you come from Luanyanza and you go against Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. like boy, are people like Dalmaso, Tiano, you Kalawasi, what you what do you call in Lua? Kalawasi. Kalawasi. Kalawasi, Alia, Ili, Mpeleka, eh, Balea, Raila. And many other people who have tried to to stand against Raila. Okay, but the question is. So that I'm saying, that is the very, that's the, the, the that is what you would expect. But the question would be, did they actually go against Raila in the similar circumstances under which uh, Babo Wino finds himself? No, right circumstances now? are never the same for okay. anybody. Mm -hmm. That's why I was coming to the other point I was saying. Okay. But if Babo Wino mm -hmm. approaches this thing in a different way from those others, mm -hmm. he can come out not just unscratched, but even very popular. He has to calculate so how does it so do? that it does not appear to be against Raila, mm -hmm. per se, mm -hmm. but to be offering something for the Luo nation mm -hmm. before you go to the nation, the Kenyan nation, the Luo people. He must make himself attractive to them without having to appear to fight Raila. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Many people have, have had that problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Many people in ODM zones. Mm -hmm who try to go against Raila, always pay. But there will be always one or two mm -hmm. who do it so well. You, you capture the imagination of the people without hurting Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. hmm. yeah, in the Luo history, we have people like uh, Robert Ouko. Dr. Robert Ouko was a Moi person. Okay. But he didn't fall in the footsteps of those others who are seen as traitors to the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Baba Wino can very easily do that. He can chart a path for himself mm -hmm. without antagonizing Raila. <laughs> because the Luo also are seeing the way things are going. Power is, power is slipping from them. Mm -hmm. So if it's somebody who can re rekindle the hope that we can get that power, They'll go for him. So Babo Wino has a lot going for him. Okay. Some, some people would actually argue that in terms of maybe his uh, public image, uh, what President Yoverika Guta Museveni did, in fact, builds him more and gives him that kind of state and mileage. Uh, mileage, yeah, ahead of us. Museveni others. has done for, for Babo Wino what nobody else could have done. Even the Babo himself could not have done that. Mm -hmm. He has cut the pull him up into the skies. He's on top of the mountain. Okay. Museven has done for Babu what nobody else could have done. Not even Babu himself could have done half of what Museven has done for him. <laughs> now, people asking, who is this Babu? Those who don't know him. Actually, people are across wondering, borders. Who is this Babu? People who in is... Uganda who didn't know Babu Wino, now mm -hmm. know Babu Wino. Across. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing a radio interview with some people from Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And they're asking, this 
babu kwani babu ni namna gani na without kiswahili na kiswahili from tanzania mm-hmm. so the mseveni amejenga babu you know okay. yeah hmm. having been bypassed in the odm and uh, the people like babu uh-huh. Uh, write them off at your own peril and that's why i was i'm um, actually wondering because we've seen him being bypassed in terms of uh, uh, leadership in that's the also helps party. him like when they did recently mm-hmm. when they were reorganizing the party because yes. raila has left and these people who became ministers are to leave mm-hmm. imagine they left out babu and uh, and lekina mm-hmm. so people are asking what is all this again that had a, the impact of elevating babu mm-hmm. to a certain status and all these things a culmination of these different moves and things mm-hmm. are helping to push babu up there into the skies mm. yeah but do you think that it's possible for him to move this way as a lone ranger or maybe uh, find the likes of uh, kalonzo musiko of course that is a kind of company that he is in right now with other youthful members of parliament in this country would he actually go through that particular direction and succeed in whatever political endeavors. You see what is happening in the country. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of dynamics going on. Mm-hmm. So whatever you do must take into consideration the dynamics of the time. You can't just say I'm going to the Kalonzo Mshoka. Mm-hmm. And then it happens to be the tree so sh- doesn't have sufficient shed. Mm-hmm. You need a tree with a canopy. Mm-hmm. If you are to be under a tree. Okay. So Babu you know, could as well realize that he, he can't the wings of 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 Kalonzo Mshoka can't cover him mm-hmm. they are too tiny mm-hmm. he's even bigger than those wings mm-hmm. so it would be foolish for him to say i'm going to work under Kalonzo you see mm-hmm. so it is it, but there's so much happening in the country mm-hmm. only a foolish politician can take a stand and say this is where i am mm-hmm. Crafty politicians will look at what's going on and see uh, how to navigate around all those things that are happening. I think Babu, you know, is intelligent enough to know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How easy do you think it would be for him to rise from uh, being a member of parliament, maybe to another uh, state? Because right now, as we can see, maybe he's uh, eyeing the uh, Nairobi County gubernatorial. All I can say is this: mm-hmm. there are. Big things ahead for Babu, you know. Mm-hmm. If his stars are aligned properly, there are bigger things mm-hmm. for him. People like Babu mm. are people who set out to get things, mm-hmm. and they have what it takes to get things. So I don't think Babu can end at the level of a, a member of parliament. Okay. And I'm not saying if he stands in 2027, he'll win the governor of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. But I'm, what I'm saying is, you can't stop Babu from being big things. He can only stop himself. Mm-hmm. They are big things. People even like 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 Sonko. Mm-hmm. There were big things ahead for them. If they were not derailed by these sort of cases, what what what? Mm-hmm. People like Sonko would shake the country. I wouldn't be surprised if it hadn't been for these court cases and what have you. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody like Sonko was going to shake. everybody when he runs for president if he ran for president 2022 or 27 he was going to shake people mm-hmm. yeah so babu belong in that category of politicians you can't put them and capture them and put them somewhere mm-hmm. and to understand them they don't fit in a box mm-hmm. they are not very conventional kind of leaders the world has produced people like those mm-hmm. they come from they are not they don't they don't have the shape we are used to they come in a different shape Hmm. Yeah. What would you make of people who try to advise him maybe to form a different political party and maybe ditch his orange home right now? Would that work for or against him in the long run? You know, anything you do and I want to repeat. If you are babu, you know, anything you do, don't do anything to show that you are fighting Raila. Okay. So if you form another party, because ODM is not treating you well you are quickly seen as fighting Raila and that will be your end okay find your space without fighting Raila already babu you know is resonating with the ground mm-hmm. both in Nairobi and Nyanza make no mistake about it mm-hmm. and they don't be he's getting that reception because they don't see him as fighting Raila mm-hmm. but were he to form a political party mm-hmm. That is what I'll leave. Quisha, quisha, quisha. Mm-hmm. So, I'll talk to you again, Raila, sir. 
sawa acha tuone atafika wapi would go no way definitely is been one of the fiercest critics of the president william ruto right now and uh, somebody would uh, finally uh, as we wind up this conversation oh. ask what then does it amount to fighting raila because right now it seems there is some sort of a uh, bromance between raila odinga and william ruto and we've not seen uh, uh, actually uh, babo wino would be support for the president does that perhaps mean that he may not be on the right side of uh, the former prime minister and that you know be seen as fighting people are not are not very happy with the Ra raila ruto whatever mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. that includes raila's men of raila supporters okay so babu is you know he knows that so he knows this up uh, this how far he can go is exploiting that resentment mm -hmm. that people have about the relationship between Ruta and Raila. There's that resentment. People are not happy with it. Mm -hmm. So Babu Owino can play around that without appearing to be scratching Raila the wrong side. Ukitoa tumakucha tuako tudogo nataka kukaruza Raila. Utakutana na Simba. Na Simba ni watu wake. So you not make it. But if you are if you are sticking to the narrative that Ruto must go, mm -hmm. Ruto has messed this country. If you stick to that narrative, mm -hmm. you have many followers anywhere in the in, in the country. Okay, okay, so how well should he play his card such mm -hmm. that he resonates with his people, but at the same time do not antagonize uh, Raila Odinga? Uh, but I think I basically have said: look at the dynamics. Look at what you can do without what you can do to elevate yourself, to build yourself, to build your name, mm -hmm. to propel yourself to some spaces up there mm -hmm. but without being seen to be fighting raila mm -hmm. that's all okay there is a details you can get from a consultant if he comes to hillman mm -hmm. analytica mm -hmm. we will consult for him we will help him <laughs> but already is an a house uh, is a household name yeah, he's doing well we in, want countries like we need mm -hmm. we need clients like